When it comes to Tracer, we often get asked the question about how dimensional units are handled when exporting a model out of Revit to the SQLite database. Um, it's important to understand that Revit's underlying units uh, for numeric lengths and areas are based on a decimal feet or a decimal imperial value. Um, even if your Revit model is set up as metric, those are ultimately symbolic units. Um, the underlying values in Revit itself are stored in that kind of decimal feet format. So sometimes users are confused when they get their SQLite database into Power BI and see that their area values aren't tabulating in the way that they're used to seeing them in a metric Revit model, for example. Um, luckily, Power BI makes it extremely easy to handle unit conversions using custom columns. And so one of the workflows that we often advocate for is to take the numeric units, um, the numeric values that are coming out of Revit, um, for example, area, um, and create a custom column that performs the unit conversion for you. So in this case, I have a Revit model um, that has a number of spaces in it. Um, you can see that we're tabulating uh, areas here, and these are being represented as square feet. Um, and so what I want to do is create a new custom column that calculates it in terms of square meters. So what I can do here is in the fields area, I can right click on my room elements table and choose new column. And we're going to use this new column as a calculated column to convert the area units. So what I'll do here is I'm going to rename the column. I'm going to call it area um, square meters, like so, and I'll hit equals. And then I need to get the value of my area field here. So what I can do is type in area, and what we're going to see is um, a couple of available fields here, and we want room elements area in this case. This is where the area value is being stored. And in this case, I'm simply going to divide that value uh, by 10.764 for the um, square meter conversion. So I'm going to hit uh, check to confirm that column and now we have an area column that is in square meters versus the original area that's coming out of Revit which is always going to be this kind of decimal imperial or you know decimal feet calculation. So what I can do here is I can go to my um, card that is that has my area value and I'm going to swap it out for my area square meters um, and there you have the square meter value um, there. And I might even go to my format tab and just change the title uh, to um, be based on square meters, like so. Because um, that is a, a title consideration. Um, and then I also have this area by room name. And what I'll do is a very straightforward operation like before. I'm going to take my area value here and I'm going to get rid of the original area value. I'm going to replace it with my square meters value. And now we have the areas of each object represented as square meters instead of square feet. So hopefully this type of operation is useful to you uh, when it comes to you know, handling formulas and performing unit conversions, the use of custom columns is a really powerful feature in Power BI. It allows you to do certain types of data transformations and you know uh, create new calculations on your raw data. So it's a good skill to learn. Um, and one of the, the benefits of this as well is that if you were to take the um, custom columns that you've created, you could turn this Power BI report into a template and reuse it. So you don't have to always create um, these new custom columns every time if you know you're consistently grabbing things or certain measurements in you know metric versus the uh, the imperial values that come natively out of Revit. So hopefully this is useful. Um, it's a quick tip and uh, uh, I hope you put it to good use.